Oh, you poor, poor beefalo. You never stood a chance. Whoever left them in this pen certainly showed no mercy to them, and as we'll come to discover, wanted no mercy for those who would happen to stumble upon it. The disused beefalo pen set piece is a simple one, folks, but it is a trap just waiting to be sprung. So let's spring it, shall we? It is the chest that we need to worry about here. Open it up and things are gonna kick off very fast. Just about everything around you will suddenly burst in the flames, including you if you don't skedaddle fast enough. And hopefully, you will also notice the piles of gunpowder before it's too late. You best move your butt, because in no time flat, we'll be adding explosions to the bad news beard list. Unfortunately, the majority of potential loot to be gotten will, well, not actually be gotten upon springing the trap. However, there is the somewhat reasonable 34% chance for the trapped chest to not actually activate. So, there's that. So you can either play the odds or simply play smart. Up to you. And by playing the odds, I mean both hoping for a dud and then maybe simply scrambling to save it when it's not one. You could try to extinguish all these flames yourself in some desperate attempt to save the loot, but 9 out of 10 times, you'll just be taking massive fire damage, and chances are, the other one time will just see you go boom. So yeah, not really worth it. So then, install and enact some preventative measures if you're so keen on snatching up the loot for whatever reason. An ice staff could work. However, it's certainly not foolproof. There's just too much on fire, too fast. So, have a flingo nearby to do the needed fire suppression with ease. Now, the added bonus of putting out the fires over just taking what's in the chest and running is that you actually net an additional six gunpowder and two boards, as the trap itself generates these items if it activates to begin with. So, that's kinda nice, actually. But yes, you should note, too, that you could absolutely just spring the trap, grab all the loot from within the chest before anything goes boom, and then run your little patootie out of there. Is this worth it all, though? Well, that is entirely up to you, friend. All we're here to do is showcase the set piece. But let's actually talk about the rest of the set piece, shall we? Everything around and inside the pen is actually safe to smash, dig, and grab without any worry of setting off the trap. So, why not just hammer the walls for some free wood? Why not hammer the lone pig head near the chest for some twigs and some pig skin? Something that is always needed. Or wait till a full moon to gain a nightmare fuel from it to boot. The leftover bones from what appears to be numerous beefalos still remain. So why not smash and grab the bone shards from those too? Because as we know, bone shards are underappreciated. Smash a skull even, and you'll get an additional hound's tooth for your trouble. Perhaps one was here more recently than the rest, as four beefalo fur can also be picked up here as well, and used in many winter clothing items if you please, and then some. But finally, grass, cause who doesn't like a good pile of grass now and then? It is, as I said folks, a very straightforward little set piece that may or may not give you a run for your money. Found solely in the savanna biome, the disused beefalo pen trap provides some decent loot if we're honest, but you have to make the most of it yourself. And it kind of just adds a little nice touch to the world of Don't Starve, because who knows who used this before, but have fun exploring them yourselves down the line. And there you have it everyone, yet another set piece down with a lot more to go actually. But if you don't want to end up like these beeflo, then best remain vigilant, even chests want to murder you in this game. But thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.